Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more of our Kenshi Fogman only playthrough episode 39 with the series. Things are starting to heat up just a little bit. We've gone south and finally found the Southern Hive Queen, attempted to rob her. <laughs> I attempted to do a, <laughs> a kidnap with a 0% chance just to see what would happen, obviously. I knew it wasn't going to go through, but we got so much experience from it. <laughs> and then we almost got eaten, but we managed to get away. So I've brought the group up north here. A little bit's happened off camera since uh, the last episode. I'm starting to play the game a little bit more off camera to try and sort of progress it, uh, the story, so that way uh, we can get our mission accomplished. Now, right now, we find ourselves outside of Morn. I think I'm going to send my character in there to do a little bit of snooping around again. Maybe go check out the Grillo, see if he's unstuck. If he is, we can maybe pull him, uh, kite him outside to fight all of these uh, trade ninjas. Uh, if not, we're going to try to loot this uh, tech hunter shop again because it actually had some pretty good gear and food and stuff. And uh, we'll go take care of that and then maybe um, check out this bar, a couple of the residential areas, and just do a little bit of looting uh, in here for this episode. I'm actually going to unpause the game as I talk to you guys and speed it up a bit. I'm going to move these guys out of the way though in a, in a safe area. But I'm going to speed it up a bit because I'm waiting for nighttime. I really can't do anything until it is nighttime. So we'll just get these guys off to the side. I don't think there's anybody with turrets on the wall. No. No, not till over here. And these turrets aren't even manned. So that's uh, that's perfect. All right, let's go take a look here at Fog Team Alpha and the base. I've got a few more of you guys in the game here. You'll see down at the bottom. I think Titan was the last one. We got another Fog Praetorium, but I haven't managed to get another um, another Plastic Surgeon. So some people don't have names yet. But we've got Nine Finger and Scythe now in the game. And for home base, we've got Jester and Derp. So I am getting a lot of you guys in here. And as we continue forward, I'll continue getting you guys in here. And if I can get myself a uh, plastic surgeon that'd be even better so maybe we'll send our group out to go plastic surgeon hunting I don't think we have anything coming to attack us for just yet oh the Shek Challenger so we've got four days to prepare for that and we have been preparing for it because you'll see I put more turrets on the wall and then we're finally actually constructing turrets and they are loaded so um, these turrets are ready to go ready to to shoot they just need to be manned and uh, more turrets are being built it's just gonna take time I've got uh, a couple of fogmen here working on getting iron plates together uh, we've got uh, coal being mined and coal and iron plates going in here for steel bars so that's kind of the the uh, well I'll say it's definitely the bottleneck right now is iron plates I don't even think we've got we are researching our bench in here and it's not even done yet because I need five iron plates. So iron plates is the bottleneck for sure. In fact, I'm going to take Derp and temporarily put him on just mining iron. And he can focus on that because I've got two coal in here already and four coal in here. And I just don't need all this coal because we don't have the iron plates to even support that. So if he could focus on getting the raw iron, this is a uh, powered iron refinery, but it's not uh, perfectly ideal. Still got two fogmen working it to try and speed it up a bit. Uh, they're doing the best they can. Um, he's going to build this steel bar storage, and then he's going to run off, hopefully, and keep constructing other stuff. I really want to get the turrets up. I think they'll make a big difference. And I, I noticed that the Praetorians seem to have the best skills when it comes to manning the turrets. If we actually look at the Praetorians, they have uh, pretty good turrets. You know, we got turret 47, precision shooting 46, 47, 43. Um, actually, oh, he's he's not he's a heavy. So this gives you an idea what a heavy looks like. Um, only 15 and 14. Scythe here, another heavy with 13 and 15. If we look at the princes like Lipsky, he's 34 and 37. So pretty good as well. But the Praetorians are definitely best. Um, they're my best fighters too, so it's kind of tricky. I'll probably throw uh, princes on the wall to man the turrets. Eventually, eventually, I would like to get the regular fogmen here. Because that'd be a great for them. So once my fighters are fighting, they can focus on that because they've got good fighting skills, good armor, good weapons. I'd like to get these guys trained to handle turrets. Um, they do have a little bit of turrets and precision shooting skills. So my thinking is if I can get some uh, training area set up inside here for uh, turrets, 
then that would definitely be ideal since this is our training area anyways. In fact, we could even put the training area on the roof for the turrets. Uh, but I don't know if I have any turret training just yet. Let's see, I do got this here. And it will train your turrets to training max level 21, so that's pretty good. Avoid turret training. Wait, can train turret skill up to level 20? Oh, okay. I don't know. Avoid FF training turret. Training turret. This will train your... We'll take your... Melee attack skill will take you to a max of level 20. Uh, perception turret. Familiar is because of the mechanism of fire you actually can change. So this will work on perception. So why don't we put some of these up? Um, just up here off to the side. Kind of looks nice. So we'll just pretend they're shooting off over here or something. It's a nice little training area. We could do uh, two perception turrets here. And two just training turrets here. Keep them kind of separated. We'll confirm that and these will hopefully get built. They need iron plates, so it's going to be some time. But there we go. So we're uh, getting on it. Now, one other thing I do want to do and go over with you guys is we need to build sort of a kill zone. This is going to work good. I like the cages with the fogmen on it. I think that the fogmen are going to be great. Uh, they're going to be a great defense for us piled up in the center here. Uh, they'll take a lot of the hits from the enemy. But we got to get these turrets finished up. I like to get more turrets here. And I'd like to build a another wall here to sort of build a box that the enemy will walk into. That'll be full of fogmen. I'm hoping the fogmen will attack them and we can start firing down with turrets and do as much damage as we, as we can. And then when the fogmen's are are all finished up, we can send our fogmen in. Because I don't know if I want to be shooting down there. Unless we get our precision shooting up really high, I don't want to be shooting down there. Well, as our fogmen are out there, I don't mind hitting the, the uh, regular fogmen because the little normie fogmen here. Because then it doesn't really affect us. So that's something to think about as well. Um, so we want to get a wall up there and to do that we're going to need to tear these cages down but that's fine i've already decided that these cages should be moved uh someplace over here just a little bit more uh center of this this walkway and then we'll build a wall across now i was informed in the comment section that the two doorway with the walls is not ideal for ai pathfinding but i'm gonna make it work because we're getting close to the end goal of the series and uh, at this point i just want to make the game I want to make our fortress as defensible as possible. Now, for those of you wondering why I'm doing that, because maybe you uh, don't remember, it's been a while since I explained a lot of the challenge. The goal is to capture the Southern Hive Queen, and if I understand correctly from the mod, the Hive's Expanded mod, once you capture the Southern Hive Queen and you bring her back to your base and you throw her in a cage and imprison her, the Southern Hive will send attacks towards you and their waves essentially and the waves get stronger and stronger and then if you kill the southern hive queen after a couple of days so we've got to defend against like you know i don't know like let's say like four waves or something i never really said i don't know how the full mechanics works so i never really set a full goal but we'll just find an appropriate number so once we find an appropriate number and we're like okay we think this is appropriate um we've survived you know four or five waves or something uh, what we will do is Ooh, crap. Okay. What we'll do is we'll end up uh, taking the queen and killing her. And what this will do is it will enrage the southern hive and they should, if I understand correctly, send everything they have at us. Everything. They should send it all at us. And the goal is to survive that final wave or die trying. That'll be the victory for the series. So we need to start preparing the defense, uh, defenses for our base um, to take that on. But we're not even really fully close yet because we've got training to do. I want to get all of our guys trained up on shooting so they can man the turrets. Most importantly, we've got to recruit. We need a lot more fogmen to be able to pull this off. Uh, the groups we have now are just not going to be able to do it. We're going to need more animals. We're going to need more armor. So I'm trying to set up the armor smithing area here probably more power 
there's just a lot more that's going to have to go into it. So it's going to be uh, just building up as we wait for that. And I won't move these two just yet till the fogmen are done and they've had their fill. It looks like they've finished everything off down here, though. I think I'm going to grab Lipsky real quick. Where is he? He's my go-to guy now for getting stuff done. I don't know why, but I always go to Lipsky at the base. He's the one I've noticed with Lipsky. He seems to be able to recruit these guys and give them names. And I don't know if it's because he's a purple Fogman, so he's part of like the update that happened with the Gen Mod that allowed Fogman to get names when they're recruited. I almost think that that's what happened. So whenever I use Lipsky to, oh, that's a Fog Prince. He's he's missing a right leg, but he can be talked to. So I'll actually show you guys. Hold on one second while I pull up my notepad. I think this will work. If it works the way it's been working for me, that if I use Lipsky to recruit this this Fog Prince, then I will get, um, I will get to name him. If I use anybody else, I won't get to. So let's see if this works. And I know the Fog Heavies have more health. Some people brought that up than the Frog Princes. And you're 100% correct on that. Eventually, I think my Frog Princes are going to go to Manning the Wall. So I'm hoping they won't get, uh, they won't get attacked as much. Um, I could, I mean, I could pick up a Fog Heavy. Actually, we don't have any armor to pick anybody up. That's a problem. I need to start building. Actually, what I should build. See, I want to train these guys up, I think. Because when we're getting attacked, that's what they're going to be best at. They're going to be best on the wall. Um, I need to start building a archer group. With a crossbow group. And giving... Fogman crossbows and princes would be great for the the crossbow group because I think they start out with pretty good skills Let's take a look at Lipsky here Yeah, so they got good precision shooting actually terrible crossbow still skill What about the heavies heavies are no better? So everybody's gonna have to work on the crossbow So I think I want to get a crossbow group built up But the prince will have the most Precision shooting and he's if he's not gonna be in the thick of it and the nice thing about the princess is he can hold his own if he gets attacked melee. All right, let's give it a shot. We should get a, a, a crossbow group built here. That's been on my list for a while. Ah, it did not work. Okay, so I, I stand corrected. So there really is no... <laughs> there really is no rhyme or reason sometimes. All right, well, that fog prince here, he could drop this, drop this. Um, I guess I'll keep his armor on him. We haven't been making our own armor, so that's been the biggest problem. He needs a, oh, he needs a right leg. So Lipsky, you're going to get him a right leg real quick. I know I've got a bunch in here. Maybe. Oh, we're already running low on limbs. We need to steal some more, but luckily I do have a right leg. But we are already running low on limbs. This is like life for us now. We're still waiting for nighttime, by the way. There you go, buddy. And let's get you a crossbow and some bolts. And let's make a new squad. And then, yeah, I need to get a new I need to get a new plastic surgeon here. So what do we call these guys here? Um, I, I'm gonna be really uncreative. And we'll call them the crossbow foggies, but that's a terrible name. And I would love to think of a better name. So if you guys got a good name for the crossbow group, let me know. I can be creative when I get some time to think it through, but when I'm trying to come up with something at the last minute, I'm, I'm never creative about it. I thought we had some better crossbows, and not that I really want to give him anything that's super ultra good, but I was kind of curious where we had stored them. I bet they're in here. Ah, yes, we've got an Old World MK1 and a Spring Bat, and we'll eventually want to give somebody... Oh, and we've got the Three Shots Ranger. Yeah, see, so we're going to want to give somebody these weapons at some point. All right, but for now, why don't you just take a shoddy toothpick? You've got some work to do. Uh, precision shooting and turrets. So we need to work on your crossbow training. This is going to be important. But we can do the precision shooting as well. So that'll be nice. Either way, we'll give him 15 bolts for now. And send him off on his way. He's in his own group right now. We'll throw him up here. Um, and I have a crossbow making bench in here, but we, we're not really ready to support something like that. How is like mining going? Um, I don't know because we've been taking all the iron plates and using them. 
Um, I see another turret is up, though, so I'm going to say it's been going good. And we can have the crossbow foggies man the wall up here and shoot down and eventually go with our group. They'll probably go with the queen group. Uh, the queen capture group at some point. There'll be a large group that goes and does that. But, um... Yeah. Okay. Let me... All sorts of legs out here, which... And helmets. Plated long boots. I don't know. Like, some of this makes sense, but some of it doesn't. Alright, this guy's been doing this for a while, so why don't we just... Uh, put him in this cage. And then these cages can be dismantled. I'm trying to make sure I bring more fogmen in. We don't have a lot here, and it concerns me. Because we should have more. Alright, once he's done doing that, we'll... We'll take apart these other cages here, and then we're going to set some more up. Yeah, this one still needs seven iron plates. This guy is going to be busy. I might have to set up. I don't know. I need to get some more people mining iron is what I need. And then I'm trying to work on getting the tech bench upgraded so I can get better industry stuff, like better, um, like more power, powered up. Uh, Refineries, stuff like that. And a uh, better weapon manufacturer. I need armor manufacturers that I need. Well, we've got a bunch of weapons we've stole from the scrapyard. Now go steal more of those, but we need to make all of our own armor because we're just not going to be able to steal those. I'm telling you right now, we're not going to be able to steal that crap. Okay, there's a bunch of iron plates here. But if I could... I'd like to have him actually use them on other cages, or maybe not. Let me see here. Uh, the four cages are probably fine. I'm going to build more, but I probably don't need... Let's see. I could do the prisoner poles. I thought I did a prisoner pole. Yeah, we tried one here, I think. We can uh, dismantle that, too. Instead of the cages, prisoner poles. I think they're a lot easier to build. Prisoner cage is five iron plates. It's a lot. The prisoner pole is one building material. They both accomplish the same thing. So the prisoner cages should probably go inside. The prisoner poles can stay outside. So why don't we dismantle all the cages? We'll have him build that one quick. The, the nice thing about the prisoner cage is they're a little bit easier to see. But let's dismantle all these since we've got plenty of building materials and we're building more. We haven't been using our building materials as much as our... As much as our uh, iron. So this will actually save up our iron plates, which would be good. And a lot of iron plates there. Perfect. Okay, so he can run off and do what he wants to do, but I'm going to build some more of these. I'm barely ever going to see these. Yeah, they're definitely harder to see. But once I put people on them, at least I'll be able to see which ones are empty and which ones are full. The cages, i got to kind of zoom in. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so there's five there. I know I'm going to probably want this many, I think. He doesn't have any building materials, but he'll get on that. We've got uh, 12 in here, 49 in here, so we are making building materials. All right, nice. And how's food? I know we've got to be eating through it. Everybody's huddled around here. Yeah, we're starting to kind of burn through our food a little bit. Almost all the meat's gone, but we've been making our own bread, and you can see we've got a lot of bread and a lot of water. So I think we're going to be okay. There's more water in here and a little bit more bread here, so we're going to be all right. We're going to make it work. All right. It is 1838. Okay. We got the crossbow foggies up here. These are going to take forever to build. So we need to recruit some more regular fog men to do our bidding. Let me grab Lipsky. We'll run down quick and grab another regular fog man and put him to work on something. Always something that needs to happen around here. I think we definitely need to work on getting more iron plates going. 
Now, the nice thing about that is all that can also happen while we're busy doing other stuff. But let's definitely get us some iron plates. I bet if we grab one of these fogmen, these purple fogmen, we can name them. Since they're part of the gen mod now. Aha, see? Okay, so let's go ahead and add another person here. I've got tons of names. We've got Will Dog. All right. Welcome, Will Dog, if you're still watching. I'm kind of mixing up people who I know are still watching and people who I'm not 100% sure, so we're just going to work it like that for a bit. Um, Will Dog, we're going to put you in the home base group. I need to grab some more regular Fogman, too. What are we going to have you do, Will Dog? Because there's like a million things that need to get done. How are we doing for copper? So we've got two copper ingots. Is it being stored yet? No, but we've got it. Uh, manual copper refinery, copper refinery. Ah, this can be torn down. It's probably going to give us some plates. I forgot I built the uh, better one here. Why don't you uh, dismantle this real quick? Yeah, we'll get six more iron plates out of that, so that'll be good. Uh, this is a steel refinery, which I think is... Yep, it's powered. Manual stone processor, so we need to turn that into a powered one. Iron refinery, which is powered. Um, I'm thinking I want Will Dog to focus on mining as well. If we can get mining going a little bit quicker for the raw iron transferred over here, then we'll process it faster. Yeah, that'll that'll probably work a little bit better. Look at that, we got the arrow um the arrow bench done. Oh, high gamer's already working on that, but come over here, high gamer, because I'm gonna have you grab this stuff too. A little bit of a base building episode as we wait till nighttime to completely fall, then it'll be some thieving whilst we send our group back. Our group is definitely coming back, the scout foggies. I want to send them back to home base for now, since we know now what we need to do to capture the queen. It's just going to be a matter of building up the group to go down there and do that, and then getting her back here. Which means this place just has to be ready. All right, high gamer, you're good to, to go and do what you want to do. And I'm going to keep recruiting people if I can. Come on, Lipsky. We've got more Fogmen to recruit, preferably ones that I know I can name, because I don't think I'm going to have a Plast and Surges for, for a while. Here's another Purple Frogman we can grab up. Nice. And we've got... Uh, Waffle. Oop. Alright, let me get these names off my list. It always feels good when I take a name off the list, because I feel like I'm finally getting people into the game. I've had people who people have been so patient, and I uh, thank you guys for that. As I work through it, I just got to get a plastic surgeon so I can name. We have like a few. It's not too bad actually. Oh, we got one fog Praetorian here. The scout foggies do have two fog heavies, and then we just have this crossbow foggy and all these regular fogmen here. So it's not that bad, but it, it could be so much better. But if I focus on getting Fogman I know I can name, which I've started to kind of figure out which ones I can and can't, then uh, it'll be a little bit easier that way. Waffle, I honestly would love it if you could um, take on the role as a Fogman who can make arrows for me. But it depends on what this is going to entail. So what we're going to need is we're going to need bolts for our toothpicks. And this is going to take iron plates. And this is what I'm concerned about because we're running low on iron plates. But I think... I'm still going to have you do that. Um, it is going to take some time. Jester's stealing that before before Waffle could get to it. Because um, he's making a lot of steel bars. Eventually, stuff will catch up. It, it's just going to take time. The stuff will catch up. See, we're getting the prisoner poles constructed now. So that's good. That's using building material. And then once we get the uh, all the prisoner poles constructed, we can get the rest of the cages torn out. So maybe Waffle, that's not a good job for you just yet. But everybody's like pretty busy and they've all got stuff they're doing. So it's not like Let's see. Let's have you grab this water, high game. Because then that fogman can make more water. This water has definitely been a lifesaver for us. 
Now, these systems will get better over time. Well, he managed to do it. All right, so we'll just leave as is. See, everybody needs that. Everybody needs them iron plates. But it'll work out. We've almost got, let's see, we've got one of these done. It's a training turret, so we could have Waffle come and train a bit. Or the Fog Prince. I think he's already, let's see, this is a, actually, can we get a crossbow training? It's probably got to be research. It's probably a tech. I doubt I have done it yet. Turret training. So I guess I don't have anything for actually training up crossbows. So I will definitely need to focus on that. But I can get precision trained. And uh, this bad boy here has already got precision 33, so he don't need that. He just needs to work on his crossbow operation. But at least precision's like half the battle. All right, it's nighttime. Holy crap. But I almost It's almost morning now. Jesus. I almost completely forgot. So let's jump back here quick to leave the home base alone to work. And uh, let's get some work done here ourselves. All right, we're going to head right up into here. Shouldn't be an issue for our, our guy here. He is like a master thief at this point. Um, that That is a little bit of an issue, but I'm just going to keep going and... And uh, he doesn't care. Okay. I mean, he probably cares, but... Kenji can be weird sometimes. Okay, so a lot of this stuff we've already got. Um, animal bags, bolts, regular. We're just going to hold off on all that. We can make a lot of it. The wooden backpack I'd like to take. And the reason for that is because I'm going to give it to some of our guys back at back at uh, home base some of our uh, men uh, uh, working guys here um, I'm hoping really okay I'm hoping we'll get lucky and get some really good stuff here I gotta get all these band-aids put or band-aids uh, first aid kits put together as well Location already known. Give me some good stuff. I find that this is like a really good place to break into. There's just always pretty decent stuff here. Like this isn't bad. We'll take it. It's not great, but it's not bad. All right. So these are more backpacks, which we can take. Um, I've got the trader's backpack. Uh, it, let's see. I'm going to want this. Um, I could give these small backpacks to some of our working guys here. Um, let's see. Dog bowl. I've already got so many backpacks. Um, let me grab another medium backpack. And, uh, like, I wouldn't mind giving everybody thieving backpacks, but this hurts everybody's combat. I don't want to give everybody backpacks. Um, because it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna be good for their combat. I don't mind giving people, like, the Praetorians backpacks. Uh, my thinking is I'm gonna need backpacks for the crossbow foggies, because I want one of them to carry, like, medical supplies for the crossbow foggies, and some of the foggies will be med, um, medics. And then I want some of them to carry like food for the group and carry uh, arrows for the group. I actually wouldn't mind getting an animal to do all that though. Like another bull or something. So maybe we take these, we carry, let's see. One medium for one of the fogmen to carry. He'll just have to carry it and take the penalty. Um, it's only combat speed and athletics, so it shouldn't 
hurt there shooting really. But we'll take the bowl backpack because I'll probably I've got another bowl backpack. But we'll probably get another bowl, and that bowl will follow the crossbow foggies. He'll carry medical supplies, extra cross bolts, maybe extra crossbows. I don't know. He'll carry a bunch of crap. Somebody's they're getting ready to wake up here. So if we're gonna if we're gonna make out of here, then we gotta we gotta do it. I should have uh, consolidated all this when I had the chance. Because this is all stuff I want, but there's more stuff here that I know I want. And it's already coming in the daytime. I guess I don't know where all these are. Crap. I don't even know what this does. Yeah, I need to get this crap. I need to get this crap consolidated. That guy's still guarding. I might be able to make it out, even though I'm moving slow as hell. Yeah. But I don't think I'm going to make it back in. Let's give it a shot anyways. Nope, they're all coming. They're all coming back to work. I'm pretty sure I went in the bar and didn't have any problem last time. So we could try that again. Could never have too many weapons. Well, yep, so we do have another bull backpack. Now we got an extra. I'm going to consolidate all this medical supplies right now. Holy crap, just a bunch of crap. Um, see if I could sell this. I'm going to have to trade with Dozer. I know Dozer's got some room. He can hold this crap. These I can use real quick. More medical supplies. Let me get all this consolidated and then we can go from there. So somebody said it was underneath here. Mini battery bank, mining, power quest, storage quest, maybe under storage? No. I'm trying to find, there's somebody said there was a way to set that thing up through here. Thought, they thought maybe it was someplace here, interior, camping, campfire, dig shreddable, prism. Oh, maybe not. Talking about this here. It's a traveler's metacrate. A small metacrate that is easy to take along when traveling removes the stool status. Traveler's metacrate. So let me look again. Traveler's Metacrate. I'm looking through everything. I know some of this doesn't make sense, but. I'm going to skip the mining. Well, no, no, I'm not. Because I'm going to look through everything. <laughs> Like I said, okay. Traveler's Metacrit. I feel like it'd be in here if it was anywhere. This is technically alphabetically so sorted, but this is all storage show. I see Repkit's crate. Metal chest, I see Metacrate. I 
don't think that's it though. That takes one iron plate. That takes an iron plate. Oh, just boom. Got it. Traveler's med crate. Nice. And it takes one traveler's med crate. But I have to come all the way over here and do it. All right. Nice. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So we should be able to put all these. Yep. There we go. Oh, that was a stack of 19 and that was a rarity? Yeah, those cannot be stacked back up. Okay. That can be stacked into five. Nice, that's so much better. A lot of save space there. Um, Everybody else is fine. Nobody else actually has enough on them that it's that it's a problem. It was mainly just my character. We have a lot of medics though. Which is why we need to actually steal more med kits. Alright. Oh, and Sir Camel's wearing the masterwork armor, by the way. So congratulations, Sir Camel. I know you're still watching because you comment on it all the time. So you've got the masterwork armor. I was going to give it, not to make it sound bad, but I was going to give it to Tarsus, but then I realized he can't wear half of it, and then, yeah. Blah, blah. So, Sir Camel got it. He's got the legendary weapon, so it makes sense for him to have that. And then Tarsus did get the um, weapon here, the Miatau or whatever. So, all right. Nice. So that is handy to have. We're going to want that. I'm going to throw that on Dozer then. And we'll put the ration on Dozer. And uh, I'm going to try to sell this. And who needs med supplies real quick before I run back in here? I'm just going to dump it on somebody that's low. So it looks like Malakath here. He is a medic. And he could use a little bit of med supplies. We'll give him this. Um, and these two stacks. I'm going to keep the rest of this on me. Including this. And hopefully I'll steal some more. One location added to map. Ruin. Ruins over here. Lots of ruins down here. Maybe be cool to make a trip down there before the series is up. Alright, I'm going to run to the bar real quick. Because for some reason I was able to go in here last time, if I remember correctly, and buy stuff without getting a hard time. Oh, maybe not then. Yeah, these guys don't like me at all. I still have a really high stealing chance, though. Could never steal too much food. I know this place here is not going to have hardly anything, but it's got food. I steal this while he's watching me. It does say 161%. Okay, I thought so. So the people don't actually seem to give me a hard time. Let me, which I, I thought might happen because we've seen this in the past before. They don't like, oh my God. I was not expecting him to be, oh, that scared the hell out of me. I was not expecting him to be just right there chilling like a villain. Um, All right, we need to get away. He managed to hit us like two more times. I think putting block on definitely saved us. Oh, no, no, I want to kite you out, though, buddy. Re! Okay, so I healed myself. <laughs> Try that again. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? He went back upstairs. How did he get up here so fast? He's stuck again. Oh, no, he's not. Well, he kind of is. It's it's a mixed bag. All right. Well, some people had suggested taking the crossbow group here and coming and shooting at him. I think that's a wonderful idea. I think that that would work really well. So I might do that. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just robbing you guys. Ashland hat. Nah. Maybe robbing you. Jesus. If you had something to rob, glorious holy map, holy mines. Ah, uh, yeah. Love when I find medical supplies. Because we actually have no way to make our own. Holy crap, the whole group is coming to help me. I appreciate it, guys, but I didn't need you. All right. So we just got a bunch more of these advanced first aid kits. Uh, guy, How are you? Why don't you take two of these off me? Oh, Tarsus has a bunch already. He's pretty bogged down. Penwin's a pretty major guy, and he's got a bunch too. Ilium's pretty good, but you could take two anyway. Scoop's another medic. Been a medic for a long time. He's hiding in here with Drexel. There. All right, guys, let's move. Perfect. So I guess we're going to end the episode off here. Mainly a building episode, a little bit of talking about what's to come and uh, what we can expect as we move forward. But I think we're starting to, you know, I don't want to say it's getting close to the end, but we're definitely starting to see the path lay before us. Originally, it seemed like it was going to go on forever, but now it's current, starting to kind of all come together as we... Uh, Continue to work on our base and see it expanding. How is iron plate construction coming along? Pretty good. We actually have an iron plate in here that has not been taken by anybody yet, so that's a shocker. And Waffles here made some crossbows. He's just hanging on to them. He probably should store them in the crossbow bolt holder over here, but who am I to tell him what to do? And then High Gamer can actually come and... He's running for more iron plates, but what he can do is he can dismantle this and get some more there. And he'll be able to finish these and then hopefully finish our tech bench as well because I, I have a ton more tech we need to do. I'm hoping we'll be able to make some more research art, uh, books out of the half-eaten ones we've done. So we'll keep setting up our defenses in the next episode, keep recruiting people. I need to go out and get a plastic surgeon. So what I'll probably do is I'll have... Um, the scout foggies are going to start returning home for now. I need to build a group together, uh, consisting of a group of crossbow foggies and, and a really tough group of fogmen that can go capture the queen. I haven't fully figured out how I'm going to hit, do it. So there's that. No, I don't want the bone armor. Iron plates, preferably. And I actually need you to be faster. Yeah, so that's it. Lots to come. All right, sweet. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.